Good evening. I know a lot of you may have mistaken me for the Kool-Aid man when you first clicked on this video, but I'm Reverend Byrne, and I'm here today to voice my opinion about a few things that are on my mind. Kanye West being the main target of today's aggression, or so we'll call it. First off, Northwest. Kanye, what in the fuck were you thinking? Who names their daughter after a position on the compass? That has almost got to take the cake for the most ridiculous name I've ever heard. And I've heard some pretty stupid names in my time. Kanye being one of them. Whatever the hell that means. Kids can be cruel. And even though knowing you and your out of control ego, you will probably never realize the harm that you've caused. Although I hope one day that you do, I severely doubt it. Are you fucking kidding me? Gotta shut that shit off, dude. Hello? Continuing on the subject of Kanye West and his massive ego, let's talk about how much of a hypocrite you are. Now, Kanye, this is probably your favorite subject to talk about. Racism. All this coming from the guy who interrupted Taylor Swift during her first VMA win just because she was white. No one cared about your opinion then, Kanye, nor do they now. You're not a genius, and no one credible respects you. You've had the spotlight on you for years, yet you've never managed to do or say anything positive. You cry racism, you say George Bush doesn't care about black people, yet all you seem to do is promote hate and ignorance. Instead of complaining about things, Kanye, why not try making them better yourself for a change? Slavery was a long time ago. It's nobody's fault but the people at that time. And nobody from that time is still alive. So while you're still talking about it... Shut the fuck up. I was never a slave owner, and you were never a slave. So shut the fuck up! You say the N-word is racist, yet you constantly use it, sell it, and promote it. In your music, and to the general public. Not to mention, I've personally heard you use quite a few racial epithets towards white people in your day, Kanye. So you're no saint, and you're definitely not somebody to be speaking up about racism. Maybe that's why even black people don't respect you. Kanye to me is just being a walking contradiction right now. And we're all walking contradictions, but damn, don't be so blatant with it. And then it bugs me out when I see people tweet out, like, um, I'd rather be a... I, I'd rather, I, I, I rather be a leader than a follower, or I'd rather be a dick than a swallower, whatever the line is. And I see everybody tweeting this line, and I'm like, y'all are tweeting that you would rather be leaders than followers, but you're following right now. You're following him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not being a leader. So what, I, I, it's just, he's just sending a lot of mixed messages out there, man, and I just, I just think it's bullshit. You know, I think he's being fake revolutionary for profit. My point is, how is it not racist to say that just because you're black you're allowed to say the n-word and no one else is? But then you make songs called Niggas in Paris and promote it to the whole world, white and black. You claim it to be a negative word from a dark time in African Americans past. No pun intended, but I agree. Yet you're allowed to say it all you want and it's not racist? If you say the word is bad, and that white people shouldn't say it, then why in the hell should anybody say it? Bad is bad, no matter how much bullshit you try to cover it with to hide its true nature. And Kanye, I'll tell you from personal experience, I've been discriminated against my whole life for being overweight. It's not fun. Not only for being overweight, but also for being the only white kid in school. But you know what? That didn't turn me into some egomaniac asshole like you. 
that didn't make me hate everybody that I came across. I could find a reason to like everybody. From collard greens to Kung Pao chicken, we're all one and the same. And I tell you one thing for sure, I can appreciate that. There's no reason to hate. So Kanye, for once in your life, shut the fuck up. Oh, and one more thing, you just got burned.